Hi, I'm Miss Huffman. And I'm Miss B. Welcome to Two, Two Teachers, Teachers, a place where we can read and learn together. Today, we're going to talk about alliteration. Alliteration. Now, that's a pretty big word, so let's make sure we can say it. Let's break down that word alliteration into its parts or its syllables, okay? So repeat after me. Ready? Al. Al. Lit. Lit. Er. Er. A. A. Shun. Shun. Perfect. Okay, now let's see if we can clap out its parts or its syllables together. Ready? Ready? Al. Lit. Er. A. Shun. Hey, that was pretty good. Now this time you clap and I'll count and let's see how many parts are in this word. Ready? Al. Lit. Er. A. Shun. Wow, five parts or five syllables. So this is a pretty big word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, really all it means is just the same beginning sounds. So when we talk about alliteration, we're listening to each word and we're listening for the sound at the beginning of each word. And if each word starts with the same sound at the beginning, then that's alliteration. So let's practice with this book. Who, who are you? Who, who are you? An animal's book by Kate Endel. And I had the great opportunity to meet Kate Endel in person and she signed this book just for me. To Mrs. Huffman from Kate Endel. If you get a chance or if you see any books by Kate Endel, I highly recommend reading them. Who, who are you? As we read, let's listen for that beginning sound or alliteration. I'm a chirpy birdie. Hmm. Now I'm hearing some words that rhyme or have the same end sound, but I didn't really hear that same beginning sound or the alliteration. Did you? But if we wanted to make this page have the same beginning sound, let's think of a way that we can make birdie an alliteration. So we're thinking of that b sound at the beginning. Hmm. What about, I'm a beautiful birdie? I like that. Would that have the same beginning sound? B beautiful b birdie. There yes. you go, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next page. I'm a lazy lion. Oh, hey, did you hear an alliteration on this page? What's the same beginning sound that you heard? Oh, lazy lion. Did you hear that? I'm a moo cow chewing. Hmm. Now when I read the pages, I do see that cow and chewing both start with the C. But when I listen to the same beginning sound, I can hear that cow has that hard C k, ow, cow at the beginning, and chewing, the CH work together to make that ch sound. Ooing. So, alliteration, same beginning sound? No. Nope. No. But if we wanted to rewrite this page so that it did have alliteration, what could we say about the cow that starts with the k? Hmm. What about I'm a moo cow crunching? Ooh, k ow, k crunching. Both have that k sound. What do you think? Yeah. I'm a pretty prancing pony. Whoa, did you hear alliteration on that page? Yes. Yeah, let's try it. Pretty prancing, prancing pony. pony. Whoa, so what sound did you hear that was the same at the beginning of each word? P did you hear that too? Yes. Pretty prancing pony. Ooh. I'm a playing spraying elephant. Hmm, now I do hear some things that are the same, but I'm mostly hearing the end or maybe even the middle of the words, but not the beginning. Playing, spraying, are more like rhyming words, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, if we were to write an alliteration for elephant, what sound would we need to start with? Eh. Hmm. What could we say about this elephant? Hmm. I'm an elegant elephant. 
K. Elegant elephant. We both start with that E sound. Now that would be a fun alliteration. I'm a tipped over turtle. What do you think, alliteration? Tipped over turtle. Both start with that T sound. I'm a water spouting whale. Hmm. What do you think about this page? Water whale. Okay, I hear some words that had the same beginning sound. Do you? I'm a roughly red rooster. Whoa, that was a little difficult to say. Do you want to try to say it with me? I'm a roughly red rooster. That's almost a tongue twister. It is. Did you hear the same beginning sound for the alliteration on this page? Roughly red rooster. Wow, that all started with what sound? <laughs> alliteration for sure. I'm a perky, playful puppy. Wow. Alliteration? Yeah. See if you can say it with me. A perky, playful puppy. What sound was your mouth making at the beginning of each of those words? P Alliteration. Mm -hmm. I'm a lovable little lamb. Did you hear the same beginning sound? Me too. Lovable little, little lamb. I'm a freckly freckled frog. What do you think? Alliteration? Yeah. Not only did I hear that at the beginning of freckly freckled frog, but I also heard fur. Did you hear that blend? Mm -hmm. Freckly freckled frog. Wow. Mm -hmm. Definitely alliteration. I'm a curious calico kitten. Hmm. Now this page might be a little confusing because I'm seeing a word that starts with a C. Another one that starts with a C, and another word that starts with a K. But listen to the sounds. Alliteration is all about the beginning sounds you hear. Curious calico kitten. What sound did you hear? K. That's right. C and K can make that same hard C K sound that you're hearing at the beginning of curious calico and kitten. So what do you think? Alliteration? Yes. Yeah. I'm a frisky fox. Did you hear the alliteration on this page? Frisky, frisky fox. I'm a hugely happy hippo. That can get a little tough. Listen closely. Hugely happy hippo. What sound did you hear repeat at the beginning of each word? Alliteration? Mm -hmm. I'm a busy, buzzy bee. Alliteration? That's a fun one to say. Wanna say it with me? I'm a busy, buzzy bee. Did you feel your mouth making that sound each time? I'm a humpy, bumpy camel. Does that have alliteration? Humpy, bumpy camel. No, we would call that rhyming, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Humpy and bumpy have the same in sound. So if we were to rewrite this page to make it an alliteration, let's think about the words we could use for camel. Mm -hmm. I'm a careful camel. I'm a caramel colored Camel? Whoa, three k sounds in a row. What would you write for this page? I'm an open-eyed owl. Hmm. What do we think about this page? Alliteration? Hmm. I do see the O in open. 
And I do see the O in owl. But remember, it's not about the letters that we see, but the sounds they make. And sometimes when they get difficult, it's more important that we look at what our mouth is doing when we produce those sounds. So let's check out our mouths when we say open. Ready? Open. Open. Hmm. My mouth makes that O, long O sound. Does yours? Me too. What about yours? Open. Yeah. And what about owl? Let's try to say owl. Owl. Hmm. What is your mouth doing at the beginning when you say owl? Does it make the O? No, it's not that long O. My mouth isn't going open. It goes owl. I think the O W work together there to make that mm -hmm. owl sound. So open owl, close, but alliteration? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Hmm. This might be a tough one to write an alliteration for owl. What can you think of that has that owl sound at the beginning of the word? I don't know many words that start with the owl sound. Do you? Mm -mm. Hmm. I could say I am a howling owl, but that still starts with a sound. Well, what do you think? If you were the author, could you think of a word that starts with that owl sound to turn this page into an alliteration? Wow. Well, thanks for rewriting some of those pages with us, but now I'd like to play a little game together, okay? Are you ready for a game? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Now we read each page and we stopped and we thought, was this an alliteration or the same beginning sound? And when it wasn't, we rewrote some of the words, or at least we talked about what we could write in order to make it an alliteration. This time I'm going to read it from beginning to end without stopping. And what I would like you to do, and you as well, is to give me two thumbs up if you hear the alliteration or the same beginning sound and a big thumbs down if you don't hear an alliteration or if you do not hear that same beginning sound. We're going to give you a moment to use your thumbs first before we reveal the answer, okay? All right, let's play. Who, who are you? I'm a chirpy birdie. I'm a lazy lion. I'm a moo cow chewing. I'm a pretty prancing pony. I'm a playing spraying elephant. I'm a tipped over turtle. I'm a water spouting whale. I'm a roughly red rooster. I'm a perky playful puppy. I'm a lovable little lamb. I'm a freckly freckled frog. I'm a curious calico kitten. I'm a frisky fox. I'm a hugely happy hippo. I'm a busy, buzzy bee. I'm a humpy, bumpy camel. I'm an open-eyed owl. Wow, well that was so much fun. Thanks for playing along with us and thanks for practicing some sentences that have alliteration in it. Remember, that just means listening for that same beginning sound. Wow, well thanks so much for reading and playing with us and until next time, bye. bye.